Yeah. All right, so the warm is GMS New Orleans. It's not a quick lesson, all right, as we always do when you all all praise the Lord and honor to God. Yahweh, my Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, my Hashem, Rekha, Gosh. The honor to the elders, the apostles of the GMS. Once again, peace and blessing and salutations to the hopeful elect. All right, and this uh, quick lesson I had, basically, uh, a remedy to the daily bullshit, BS. All right, really, it's, it's being in unison and, and within the brotherhood, man. That's the only remedy for the bullshit that we have to deal with on a daily basis. Being here in America, being amongst these, these damn these zombies out here, right? It's seeing, being, being amongst uh, the document. You hate, sometimes you hate to even leave the brothers, man. You know, everybody ought to go in several ways and go back to, in the world, you know? You, you know, it, it, it's a, this the only peace that we have, man. Talking, conversing with brothers, you know, doing things with each other, man. This is the only thing that we have. Somebody give me a Luke 22, 30, 32. I think it's 32. Well, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go. You can go like to uh, 31. <clears throat> All right. Your brothers go through different things. Uh, excuse me. Going through different things or whatever. Who do you have? Who do you be talking to? Your brothers, man. You can't complain to your woman all day. He gonna she get tired of throwing at the plane. <clears throat> who you gonna? Who you gonna? Uh, Console with you, so with her brother, man. Because we only wanted to have that communication for all these scriptures and understanding on what's going on to talk to man. All right, this is the only remedy that we have to be in the octane with the octane. Anything outside of that is, is just really just chaos, man. All right, really just uh, a burden pressing on your mind. You mm -hmm. totally got it? Yeah, I got it. Go ahead. All right, this is Luke chapter 22, verse 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as weak. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not, and when thou art covered, strengthen thy brother. And that's all we can do. The point is, <clears throat> to strengthen the brother and father. Instead of, instead of being amongst each other, you know, brothers do, I don't know what you people think, man. You, you A lot of you people out there that know or someone in the know, you see us on the highway of Bible, you think, a lot of you think, you take that bum, bum mites, uh, you think we are really bums, uh, homeless, all right, you, you think we don't do nothing but uh, just teach the scriptures all day, man, brothers have, brothers do things with each other, man, you know, brothers, you know, for you to know, okay, brothers might go, might fish, you know, all type of stuff together, man, and that's the only piece, that's the only piece that we have, in strength, in the strength of the brother, the brother and part, Brothers actually, you know, help uplift brothers, help brothers out with different things, man. And that's all we have, all right? Just pushing that vibration out, that's all we have. Everything else, like I say, uh, read one more time, like the, the, the main part. All right, it says, uh, Luke 22, 32. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, what's it like? When thou art converted, strengthen thy brother. Yeah, and we constantly continue to do that. Uplift brothers and, and, and push brothers' faith, man. Because the time that we're in, and it, it really is much more important than the time that we're in to, to, to fellowship with each other, man. You shouldn't be that guy that just you the long range of you, you outside of what everybody else is doing. You should want to be in unison. Give me um Psalms one, I think it's Psalms one thirty three and one. You can get two, two. Uh, you can read down to three, I believe. <clears throat> Psalm 133. Let's go to one. Right. <clears throat> Psalms. Psalms 133 and one. Behold, how good and pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity. You know, how, how what? How pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It's, it is a pleasant thing, man. Brothers, brothers getting getting laughs in. You know, brothers might you know, brother might do some uh, silly or whatever like that. Brothers, you know, cracking jokes on them. Those are times we can't do that with niggas. You can't look look at this other situation that happened with the, the niggas out there. You can't even niggas can't play dice with each other. Niggas yeah. can't play basketball. Yeah. Can't do nothing, man. Niggas want to shoot and kill your ass, man. It's none of that going on with us, man. All 
right? Brothers, brothers be cooking, all right? And it's a, it's a, it's a what? Pleasant thing. Go ahead. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard. You know, and, you know, hey man, it's a beautiful thing. Go ahead. Even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his garments. Yeah. You want to say something? Yeah, just uh, a pleasant thing, man. There's, this truth is the only real pleasant thing in this society. Everything else is corrupt. Everything else is foul. Your job, your woman, whatever you got going on in this world is rapidly decaying. And the brotherhood getting stronger. The scriptures say the house of David shall lack stronger. That's that's what's happening. Might I add, even when we call ourselves following, my, following the steady house shot, the only thing the shot was always amongst the brother. He was always amongst the brother. Cool. Yeah. Give me a C right 6. <clears throat> In 13, start at 13, and read about 17. I got it. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 6, verse 13. It says, Separate thyself from thine enemies, and take heed of thy friends. Friends, right. which over, over the process of time of being around, you want to you wanna be around uh, Akim, man. You know, you, you, after a while, and this thing, you start to see everything. For what it is, you see the world for what it is. You start to see the, the, the corrupt and the foul minds of your so-called friends in the world, your family members. And you separate it you said you separate your, separate yourself from thy enemies. Because really, those are your enemies, man. <clears throat> All right? And you, that's what this truth does. You wanna you wanna be around like-minded men as yourself. Alright? It says separate thyself from thy enemies and give it take heed of thy friends. Go ahead. A faithful friend is a strong defense. And he that had found such, and one had found a treasure. Right, and that faithful friend is ultimately a, a brother. All right, it's like a, it's like it's like finding a treasure, man. <laughs> because you're around like-minded men, you can leave your wallet around and come back every every credit card, <coughs> every uh every ounce of money that you got in there is gonna be still there, man. Nobody trying to rock up, stick to, get over. Brothers ain't fast talking to each other, man. All right, keep going now. It says, Nothing doth countervail a faithful friend, and his excellency is invaluable. That's right. Go ahead. A faithful friend is the medicine of life, and they that fear Yahweh shall find him. Right, and them that fear Yahweh shall find him. And we even found this truth. This is the valuable thing that we have, this, this thing about us, man. And we don't care that you don't, you, you outsiders, you already have a preconceived notion of. I don't fuck with them camps, you know, and, you know. That's why I never joined the camp because they like this. How do you know you never, you never, you never, you never, you never, even, never even experienced the, the feeling? And if you, if any guy ever, you know, actually uh, joined the camp, even the guys that didn't fill out, they can't say shit bad about how brother, <coughs> brother did, brother did them. Nobody did, nobody nothing, man. You know, it's the only real brotherhood. Brothers are really experience in the world. You know, you got <clears throat> friends, so-called friends, but that's not really like brotherhood. It's yeah. Really, yeah. And these, these brothers, the, the <clears throat> apostles, different men that you see around around the world, and, 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 and the blessings that I had to meet a lot of those men and these brothers, them brothers treat you, but these brothers, them man, treat you better than your actual family, man. I'm talking about a motherfucker that didn't grew up in the same house with you with Pampas. All right? Raised with you. They, these brothers treat you better than, than 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 your fucking family, man. Your moms and shit, man. All right. You call you call call your motherfucking call Uncle uh, Uncle George right now and tell him you got a you got a, I'm on the side of the I ten or the flat over here over here at, between the eight ward and the seven ward. Oh, that's, I don't know what you are gonna do. <laughs> that's what niggas gonna tell you. Yeah, hey, I want some niggas walking up on me right now. I got a flat. Oh. Stay up. Stay up. Call 911. You call these brothers. It can be whatever. The brothers coming, man. All right. Keep going. Huh? This, uh, verse 17. It says, Whoso feareth Yahweh shall direct his friendship aright. For as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. And that's what it does, man. So as you is, because what we are, we are this truth. So your neighbor, your true neighbor is who? Them that are of the same like mind, same will as you. Those are your true neighbors, right? And you, a lot of you Israelites out there, 
All right, well, you so called, you so called Christians, you niggas be, oh, y'all love that neighbor. But you don't even know who your neighbor is. All right, you thinking that uh, Joe Sixpack, Karen, and all these other people, your neighbors, your neighbors of your nation. All right, and, and really, and if you're in the truth, your, your true neighbors are like, you know, the brothers in the truth with you, man. That's your family, really, that's your family, man. All right, <clears throat> and these are these brothers, like I say, from the daily bullshit, have to go to fucking work, clock in with these devils. All right, be in traffic, do all this shit. This, this is the remedy. This is the uh, the medicine that we have for the daily bullshit that we have to endure, man. All right, you gotta hear your mom's mouth probably. She griping. You might hear your woman. She griping. The fucking boss. He griping. Like, damn, I, man, this is another damn hell, man. And the brother might tell you about his story. We had to deal with. It. You know. And then what happens in the conversation and talking with brothers? Scripture gonna come out. Scripture gonna come out. Right, a reference of the scripture will come out. A brother might tell you a sound advice. Uh, he he had oh I, five years ago I, I had to deal with some shit. That's how you go about doing that. You might not know, and you you and what you do you take in what the brother tell you, and you you go try that shit on them at work. You see that it works. You know what I'm saying? But this is the only medicine, the only remedy that we have, man. I don't know what what. How do you cats that want to go back in the world? I don't know what what's wrong with you, man. What are you going back to? It's nothing. I'm talking. It's nothing. Dog returning to their mama. Huh? Dog, <laughs> dog returning to their mama. Yeah, that's all it is, man. That's all it is. Anybody ever preach about something like that? I can talk about something. Yeah, you let them roll, man. I got some more. I got some more scriptures, bro. But y'all, y'all let them roll. Got something in there. It's uh Matthew chapter twelve, <laughs> verse forty-six. Uh, it says, "While he yet talked to the people." Behold, his mother and his brother are still without desire to speak with him. And he's talking about Yahweh Shai. And it says, Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desire to speak to thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my mother, or so like the same as my brother and sister and mother. Yeah, this is your family, man. Your true family. Everybody else is on the outside of the baby. I would do for one of these brothers before I do for somebody in my family. You can have, you can have, I'm, yes, I said it, man. You can have a family member, cousin call, hey, cuz, I need help. And a brother call 10 minutes after him. It's a, it's a no brain. It's a no brain. Whether needing help or needing needing funds is a no-brainer. Just real say help help not a beggar, help not the wicked. You help a you help a brother. If I'm anything, I'm gonna help a brother, man. Everybody else outside of this, you fall, you fall a hundred and a hundred and fifth to what the brother got going on, man. Look at all these people, man. Cause you're not you're not you're not doing the will of your high you shot, man. This is for the ones who are doing the will of the Lord, man. That's what the Lord referenced. His disciples as his as his, his his mother, father, and family, man. That's why I should have said you're supposed to hate he that you know hate his mother and father, even himself less, you cannot be my disciple. And that and we always go into it. The word hate right there means to love less. Not saying that you don't love him. Not saying you don't have a, a effect, affection and, and uh, you know sentiment for him and different things like that, but you just love them less than you love the truth, the brotherhood, man. Go ahead, uh. The Surah chapter 12, starting at the top. When thou wilt do good, know to whom thou doest it. Oh, what does it say? It says, when thou wilt do good, know to whom thou doest it. When thou do, you want to do a good act. You want to do something good? Know it. You better know who you're doing, the good, who, doing that good for. All right? And, and like I said, you, you cats out there, you want to open up soup kitchen and go feed Go get sandwiches and feed the black like, man. Fuck them people, man. Giving seven hundred dollars away at the game with yeah. the guy that they was talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help a brother in need before I help one of them. Yeah. It sounds cold, but it, 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 hey, hey, man. Hey, some, some, some. Let's say some, some, some dishes are the best served cold, man. It is what it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely know whom I do it's good to, man. Go ahead. I'll tell you what. It says when I do will. 
do good, know, it's like, when thou will do good, know to whom thou doest it, so shalt thou be thanked for thy benefits. Do good to the godly man, and thou shalt find a recompense. Oh, man. And if not from him, yet from the most high. Oh, man, that's... Wait, you want to feel it? Yeah. Because I can say, that's heavy, right? Because the Lord, uh, yeah, he had spoke right there, like, to do as we do unto brothers. But even the Lord is in that same mind. This is uh, Psalms 125 and 4. It says, do good, O Lord. That's in all caps. Unto those that be good and to them that are upright in their hearts, man. So the Lord, the, the same way, he like, look, there are plenty of people on earth, but I'm doing good to the men that's doing good unto me. Like, that's that's what the Lord doing good to, man. You know? You got to go. It's conditional love, man. Yeah. The Lord not dealing with... You know, scripture does say that, you know, the sun will shine on the righteous and unjust at the yeah. same time. But the, the good actually is, is being uh, fortified in the scriptures and, and being built up in the faith. And yeah. we're, we're not doing that to everybody. Yeah, see, we was taught coming up in the world, we got to love unconditionally. No, right. you got to love conditionally. That's right. You got to watch what you love and how you love it, what you, and then we know what love is too. Uh, you know, so yeah, nah. Whatever the world said, it's the other way, man. This uh, one. Oh, yeah. Everything. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> the world, the world, they, they don't have to deal with the bullshit, man. They don't see nothing. They like the bullshit. bullshit. Yeah, they like <laughs> the bullshit. <laughs> so, that's why they can't see it. That's why they can't see it because they're in the, in the midst of, in the very act that, that, that makes us, the very act that goes against the scripture, they're doing those, those acts, man. They don't right, give a right. damn about it. It's, it's a norm to them. All right? So that's why, like I said, you only have this this thing about it. That's why Apostle Kabbalah says it the way he says it. This, this is the thing of ours. It's true, man. All right? This is the only, this, that's why one of the brothers can go into the scripture too and get the scripture about the comforter. This is the only thing that comforts us, man. When all else fails, when, when you catch a hell, you, 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 demons and people coming at you all the way, pulling at you, fucking with you, you thing that calms you down, you can relate to the scriptures, man. <clears throat> Come on, Lord, just give me five more hours, man. You might think of a scripture. Just help you, help you, you know, spring you through this shit, man. The niggas be poking. The niggas be probing and poking that shit. Because you're different. Man. Because you, these scriptures make you different. All right, the walk make you different. <clears throat> yeah, bro, you always with them dudes, bro. Nosy, you know what I'm saying? But they don't know, this... This is this is something that belongs to us, man. This truth belongs to us. It don't belong to the world. It's not for you. That's why Apostle Boy and the Apostles and everybody, this is this is a thing of ours. This is a exclusive club. All right. And all outsiders, you don't you don't know what goes on. You 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 got a preconceived notion, a, a theory of what's going on. You're not even close to that, man. Because you've never experienced true love amongst amongst men. You've never seen this before. That's why it's, it's so uh, foreign to you, man. I'm gonna quit real quick. Is that okay? Go ahead. This is uh, Second <clears throat> Samuel chapter 1 and verse 26. It says, I am distressed for thee, my brother, my brother Jonathan. Very pleasant has thou been unto me. Thy love to me was wonderful, passing the love of a, of a woman. Hey, and how do you think that that love got done? It didn't get the, you know, just sitting there looking at each other all day. Or, you know, it took it took time. It took a, a foundation, which is these scriptures. Now, King David, that's who um, was speaking right now. He was a man after the law of heart. Right. So he wasn't just sitting there with no nigga. You know, he didn't he didn't love a nigga like that. You know what I'm saying? It was a man who you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Go ahead. it was a man in like mind. Right, which the commandments, that's the that's the thing. That was the binding agent, you know. What what binds us? Trials and tribulations that we go through. That's right. right. It's true. Those those every weekend, those clashes and those fights, even amongst each other. The, the we bump, you know, brother might bump heads, man. Kind of. All right. And that's that point. It's, it's supposed to grow love from that. All right. Love don't supposed to separate you. You, you. you find solutions, you get it right. Move the fuck on. And then, and then guess what? Years and months pass by those same questions. You gonna laugh at that. You might laugh at that shit. That's right, bro. Yeah, you remember 
Remember when we got into it over there? And he, oh, he laughed about the shit, man. That's supposed to be, because this thing is a, really a marriage. We got a marriage with Yahusha, but each church is a marriage amongst each other. You That's owe right, each other, uh, you owe each other the benefit of the doubt. You owe each other an explanation, man. Where are you about to go? Yeah, the, like you say, the problems and shit that you, we come across, it actually allows us to learn how to, how to live mm -hmm. and, and roll with you, mm -hmm. which, Create so what a great <laughs> bond, but if you get into a nigga in the world, he hates you and despise you. He won't and find you. out a way when I can get you. Right, right. But when you when you do it in, in righteousness, it's a way on how to dwell together. It's like, look, this this some more family over here. This how we can dwell, so you don't you know you don't cross that line, and you be like, hey man, because what is better than two that agree together? Like, oh, you know what? I ain't gonna do that no more, but I ain't no. You know that like that, so it learn it teach me how to actually love you better, or right. how to love each other. You know what I'm saying? You know it's it's a, lessons of love. Cause you know another lesson of love, but what's the enemy to love? In this truth, ego and pride. Man. Ego and pride. Yeah. That fucking demon of ego have you? Oh, I'm better. You not? Yeah. You think you better than a brother? You not? You off, man. You know you off. You have that that demon of ego and pride and uh, who the fuck he? he he only got two years in, man. That's what the same shit was going on with the penny, the the, the, the parable of you know, the penny. Oh, he just came in. How the fuck he did? Don't worry about that, man. We all got the same prize coming to us, man. It, it's no, it don't have no. This truth don't have no time for pride or ego at all, man. That's that's the, the kryptonite of men in this thing, man. Having pride and ego, and, and then sometimes those those demons sneak in there, man. But you gotta check them, all right? <clears throat> How can we have pride and ego? We all catching hell. We all we all oppressed by the same devil. You ain't your pride and ego haven't taken this devil down yet. You know what I'm saying? So you know, like I say, this is a marriage, man. And with a marriage, it goes to you have you have growing pains, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Lows and lows. Lows and lows. Mm -hmm. You have you have those times, man. That's all relationships, though. Huh? Yeah. Jake relatable to that can relate to what? With the woman, with the, woman, yeah. with the job, sometimes making a lot of money, sometimes you barely, you like, man, I need a little overtime. You know, like you just, you don't, they don't got much hours and shit to do. Yeah. Is that, you know, it's like everything gonna have is, is time. Give me, give me a second card of one and four, five and four. Look, look, I got a word of like marriage for you. Just real quick, what the other was saying, like the scripture says, uh, only about pride uh, coming contention. That's the only reason men oh, want to strike because of pride. Like you said, with the woman in the job, Jake will swallow his pride for his woman. Oh, Jake, yeah. Jake will swallow his pride to make more money. Yeah. Oh, Jake. Jake will let Esau talk to him crazy. Man, I got to pay the bills. Yeah. Yeah, take the loaf. But then when it comes to a brother, I, I can't take offended. the loaf. Yeah. yeah, he offended when the brother don't even go 25% 25, 25 hard on you. Just, yeah. just bring up a situation. And he just, he, Jake just spares up. They're pride, man. Yeah. Nobody wants to take the loaf. Nobody, okay. You take that into consideration with the brother saying, you know? Well, go ahead. You had you had you had the word, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is um excuse the word marriage in the online etymology. Excuse me. This is from the late 14th century. Figurative use, uh, intimate union, adjoining as if by marriage, and and you got to be intimate with brothers. You need to know the inner workings of brothers. How can I say I trust you or I love you if I don't know how you work? You know. When you see a man who master a craft, he knows the in the ins and outs of the thing. Yeah. You know, he knows what's gonna, you know, say if we're working with gears or something, he knows what's gonna break the gears, you know, he knows what's gonna overwork the gears, and he knows what's gonna underwork the gears. This 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 body is the same way. You need to know if you're pushing a man, how, you know, we all men. We gotta yeah. understand, you know, these limits and boundaries of men. You know, every man has a boundary. And that's that's true love because you will never want to step on a brother toe, right? You know? Uh, this is, this is another thing with, with in the past I've seen guys actually uh provoke brothers, man. Kind that's wicked. Then you then you got the cats out here that, that actually get to the point where you provoking a brother or using the scriptures to go around you. Well, oh, I talk crazy to you on purpose, but I know all I do is repent. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm gonna just get off on talking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he, he is, he, this brother, he, he, he's short, he's skinny. He, he, you know, I can go talk. 
No, you walk that shit off, man. And shit ain't, and shit ain't, it, 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 it shit ain't gonna happen, man. All right. Now I say this troop is supposed to be a, a scapegoat, kind of rest haven from the bullshit. You should, you shouldn't be bringing in bullshit. You know, making, making. Don't be that guy that's making the whole room, the whole atmosphere toxic, man. All right. Because this, this is this is supposed to be a beautiful thing, of seeing. Men grow, men come from out of the world, not being, you know, this some ragtag nigga, man. You know? And, you know, over the time, I didn't, you know, brothers, I got a chance to see brothers, even myself, you know, you're not the same person you was uh, five, six, seven years ago, man. It's supposed to be a change. This is this is the only place, this truth is the only place where you can actually have some type of rushing at the comfort, comfort scripture. It's okay. Yeah, oh, that nigga's in Matthew. Like, I, I got this. We gotta learn how to dwell with brothers here. Because in the kingdom of heaven, you gonna dwell with men. It ain't gonna be no good around that. You ain't gonna be able to go on your palace and just be, you gonna have to just come up the, the high holy days this time. You gonna have to, you gonna have to congregate. The Lord say in Revelation 21 and 3 that my tabernacle is with men. So when we're occupying thrones and you kings, Guess what? We don't have to meet up, y'all can not. Brothers gonna have to put their, you know, look, we need to go over here to do this or whatever the Lord got us doing. Right? You can't just jump to the kingdom. Yeah. Just fast. You gotta have it now. You gotta have those traits, yeah. those attributes. Well no. And they want to do that now, man. Come. You know? When the Lord said there, there should be some here standing here that should not taste death. How are you gonna go straight from here to the kingdom and with no practice, no you just no sitting on the in. sidelines? Yeah. Come on, man. I get a quick one from backing y'all up really quick. This is uh, Romans 12 and 9, but I'm going to read it in the NLT. It says, don't just pretend to love others, really love them. Hate what is wrong, hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. You know, uh, backing up with what you were just talking about too, Kalai, is like, you know, men... We know that we we're gonna uh butt bump heads every right. now and then, but you know we have to take the light of of honoring each other, of having that regard for you. That whatever it is, I'm gonna make sure I do everything in my my power to make sure that I don't offend you ever right. again. That's, That's how you true. find out if a man got honor for you. Bump his head. Right. <laughs> you gonna find out if he honorable or not. Y'all yeah. bump heads, not intentionally. Right. But right. When the when the clash come. Yeah. You gonna find out how honorable the man is, you know, through through you know, like you said, through yeah. situations. Through it's time for the take the low. We gotta apologize. He may have been feeling embarrassed. Right. Certain things gonna arise, and it's gonna have to show that man true colors, man. Right? True you know, colors, the true, really the true colors part come with after the altercation. After the altercation too. Yeah. How he's gonna act? Yeah. All of a sudden, he knocking around no more. He yeah. distant. Yeah. Because yeah, really, still, yeah, because really, Grudging. when you when you when you have the altercation, you're supposed to continue being the same person you was ten seconds ago. You know what I'm saying? Really, it's supposed to never change. When we checked the issue that we had, we found a we found the root, root of it. We saw the root of it. Now it's time to move on. Gotcha. You know, <clears throat> and this is the only place you can actually. Damn it, speak your, you can't speak your mind in the world, man. <laughs> they gonna kill you. Look, 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 look what they're doing to Yi. Look what they're doing to uh, old, old Kyrie, man. <laughs> okay. Come on, man. You gotta apologize. <laughs> they need to spend you anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he donated like $500 million. And then they took and it right back. It's a game to take his money back. Yeah. Yeah. It took it don't happen yeah. in the truth, man. Yeah. You know, that don't happen in the truth, bro. All right, y'all yeah, should bring them, them to uh, uh, somebody get uh, a please ask these four and nine and read down about probably about uh, 13 or so. 12. You still wanted that second chronicle? All right, somebody else probably said that or something. Huh? You, no, you said second chronicle one and four. That was your asking for. So, I was second Corinthians, with. second Corinthians, yeah, second oh. Corinthians. Yeah, it's a Corinthians. It's like a Corinthians one of the books. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's the book of St. John. 
chapter like uh, 14 and um, 16, it says, and I will, this in red letters too, and I will pray the Father that he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because what? it says, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. And you see that? The world cannot receive the spirit of truth, man. That's right. Only the elect, all right? And that's why we we deal in, 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 in actually being in unison with each other, man. Because you can't, the world doesn't have this. Go up, and we didn't we didn't been through y'all president. I've been in the truth some years. We talk about I'm talking about the start off. Start off when you was around here running up on people at the gas station, running, you can't say, what the fuck are you talking about? That nigga crazy. This brother said he was waking up homeless man. No. Hey, bro. He <laughs> has a light. Hey. He no, got cold, big piece of coal on his head. Yeah, he like, what you waking me up for? I'm good. You know, what yeah, are you talking about? You won't sleep. He like, I'm breaking my rest. Man. Shit, I didn't hear him wild ass sort of brothers running up on people and shit, man. <laughs> All right, the world yeah. can't receive this. Yeah, bro. But then, like I said, when, when you... You find like like minded men as yourself, everything flows and you have an understanding. If we really we speak another language, man. Yes. This is another language to the world. And I listen, and I see it when brothers are out in somewhere, you might have the, the, the group of people they eating at the table. And you hear brothers, oh, what's talking about that? Like, this is another language to them, man. The act of love, you see us the salute. And you ain't had people, older women come up, man. I y'all have a blow about y'all. It, it, you know, there was a scripture said that the world will see that the love we have for one another, man. And and people have gave touch of money, they see it, man. They don't know us, we never met them, it's not it's not coerced or nothing. But it's, it's the way how brothers like you know we've been out, you know, brothers been out, hey, I got the I got you might get a beer or something, I got the I got the, the tab, I'm gonna pay for everything. Oh, you generous, you a nice friend. <laughs> you know, they didn't say stupid shit like that to us, you know. But the love is supposed to be showing how we deal with each other, man. Mm -hmm. How we treat one another, man. All right? Keep going. You got that? Yeah, I got it. Okay. It says, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. And if the world seeth him not, no, they don't know him. And the way you get to know the Lord is really through the brethren, man. All right? It says. And we, 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 put, it, we, put, it, we put it, how about you shine on this way every week, man? That's right, brother. Daily. Even with ourselves, people put the, the way you see this truth is how a man conducts himself, man. You only supposed to go ahead doing nigger shit, doing wild ass shit. When somebody see you, you they're supposed to see, you know, you sound, mind, stable, temporal. Man, it's just something about you, bro. Like, I'm gonna ask you something. And saying, look. <laughs> Something about like that's what it do, man. Yeah, you know, figure it out. It's it's figure out. Mystery on like one Jake in Baton Rouge asked us if we were Israelites when we went to the uh, gas station. Yeah, you know, you know Israelites. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm just saying, all the appearance and shit, though. And he know he had yeah, no, I'm saying no, he still was looking like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 just a random person. Come here, y'all, Israelites, like. There's no way, yeah, like, <laughs> who are you? Like, you know, we ain't say no, but we ain't telling yeah either, you know? <laughs> what? A little bit more said, but ye, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. He shall be in you. And by being in us, because, uh, it's another script I'm thinking about. <laughs> but, uh, no, no, it's another scripture. Basically, we it's, it's that it's that it's that scripture for God, the one that goes into uh, being the image, because it goes it kind of goes into the how the how was ways, man. That's another scripture I'm thinking about. But that yeah, read that last part again. It says, "But ye oh, know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you." Shall be in us, man. And it being in us is 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 shown, man. The, the love. What we have is being shown it's on display, man. All right? Got one more for you. Go ahead. In verse 18, it says, I will not leave you, I will not leave you comfortless, 
I will come to you. Yeah. And the Lord has came to us, man, through these scriptures. Man. That's right. Really through having other other people to lean on. Uh, that's why I said somebody got that uh, Ecclesiastes in the Bible, four. I have the Corinthians. Yeah, because okay. all right, I'm gonna go to the Corinthians. But I had that uh, Ecclesiastes two, four, and one. I think it's four and uh, I think it's four and nine. Mm -hmm. Two or better than one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Four or nine. Read it twelve. It's on uh, the book of Ecclesiastes in the Bible, chapter four and verse nine. It says, Two are better than one, because they have a good reward in their labor. Uh, two are better than one. And it, 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 you should be one a, 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 a brother of of a sound mind. And in the hope of the truth, and how much you you should want to be a part of the body, man. You shouldn't want to be on the outside, man. Any man that's talking about that, you totally off, man. You don't get it. You don't get you don't get it, man. You don't you don't get this thing, man. It's really it's not for you. I don't want to be a part of the camp, new camp, man. You you need to like we out there. We got you on boot camp, running four, five in the morning and shit, man. If you're not in the camp, who's your brother? Who's going to judge you? Yeah, who's going to judge you? Who's going to rebuke you? Yeah. Who's going to admonish you? Because they're running from that. Though. But who you yeah. love, though? That's why, who you love? That's why they don't want to yeah. beat it, because they're running from shit. Remember yeah. I told you, brother? Yeah. They're running from the discipline. They're running from having to be accounted for. Having to be an accountability of this thing, man. They're running, they're running from shit like that. They don't want to be rebuked. Man, I don't want to be in the camp, but let me know when that password comes and get some of that good man. That's what it is. That's what the niggas is, man. When you're on the team, you're around man. Man, around niggas like that. Man. Yeah. Man, don't see your flaws. Like, you got flaws. You got, yeah, and you got flaws, though. A lot of men don't want to be with men because at the end of the day, like, I, I'm doing this and that, and I won't get away with it. Like, nah, you got flaws, man. You're not serving the Lord right there. You ain't trying to totally get right. Yeah, you ain't trying to get right either. You know? Bro, you running, you running from you running from judgment. Uh -huh. You running from a lot of shit. You know? Responsibility. Yeah. Um, you got more? Yeah. Yeah. Go to yeah, go read all the way twelve. Uh, it says, if you can read nine again. Come okay, real quick. Okay, go ahead. It's verse nine again. It says, two are better than one because they have a good reward in their labor. They have a good reward in the labor, and our, our reward is the kingdom of heaven. Do you want to be in the kingdom, you know, at just some guy, just some random Israelite? I mean, we have a multitude that's going to be saved, but the men of the Lord that's laboring together, our works follow us forever. We're going to be in the kingdom a thousand years from now. Like, man, we, we stood up to Esau together, man. We, we had the little bitty bodies. We have no weapons. We just stood up, you know, for the Lord. Like, that's yeah. that's a great reward. We're going to be able to tell our, our kids, kids, and grandkids these war stories, man. Yeah. How, I said, how we grew up over here in Babylon the Great, the things we had to go through. See, we go, we talk about war stories now. You bug outs on the block, <laughs> niggas that we didn't encounter. That's right. right. The, 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 Tribulation and the trials of it. We didn't. Hey, wait. Y'all, y'all niggas look at us and probably put these garments on and read these Bibles and think we did some fucking schoolboys or some church boys, man. Brothers and did shit out here in the world. The same shit you did claim that you 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 done done. Brothers and did really did that shit. I was out here doing yeah. wild shit, man. All right. You got brothers that been in the army. Brothers that put motherfuckers down. All type of shit, man. But this is what changed us, man. All right, this this will change us. All right, and then and, and, and man, I can go into some other shit. But go ahead, bro. I like I said, I said oh, what's that word? Yeah, that was crazy. Verse yeah. ten, it says, "For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow, but woe to him that is alone yeah. when he falleth." Yeah, you got nobody to. When you fall. You got you. You have a, you have somebody to lean on, man. Yeah, it's gonna go into it. You have somebody to lean on in the body. That's why I say this is this truth is a daily remedy to the bullshit, man. All right, you have you have the truth, and you have like-minded men as yourself and Hakim. You have somebody to fall upon, man. When the going gets tough, when shit happens, man. Mm -hmm. All right, the Bible says 
Okay, it's been plenty of times, and I know you brothers can attest to it. You know, I didn't have a fucked up day at work. You know, come home, you got Eve being a demon. Man, a brother, the, the Lord has sent a brother to call you, you know, and you'll talk to the brother, whether it be for five minutes or 50 minutes. You know, and that, you'll get off the phone like, damn, I needed that. You know, this is a cure for my day, man. You know what I'm saying? But it, it says, um, I'm going to read the last part again. It says, but woe to him that is alone when he falleth, he hath not another to help him up again. Yeah, those, those, those long, long range guys, them guys that want to be by themselves. Well, when the shit go down, you're going to be by yourself. That's right. Don't look for those same benefits of the body when you want to be alone, man. All right? Verse 11, it says, again, Jake, real quick, Jacob yeah. trouble hit. The alarms and sirens. Hey, I, what we gonna do? No, nigga, we ain't speaking French now. <laughs> yeah, ain't shit. Yo, we mean <laughs> shit. <laughs> what you gonna do? All right. Yeah, continue down to the dawn. You want to be on the island? Yeah. Continue being on the island, man. It's cold on that island, boy. Yeah, <laughs> and ultimately, hey, that's gonna lead them to get killed. You ultimately, know? yeah. Because what they gonna do? They gonna go trust some redneck. Who got all the survival supplies and shit? And he gonna eat them. Or he gonna do some strange to him. That too. Yeah. Do his body. You know that's. Verse eleven. It says again, if two lie together, then they will have heat. Yeah. But how can one be warm alone? Question mark. Okay. You can cold in the motherfucker, man. Outside of this, the world, this, this world cold, as you can see. That's some of the events. These niggas supposed to be friends there. They niggas, don't mm -hmm. check your head, man. Yeah, yeah. World cold, boy. <laughs> these niggas, and these niggas, even getting, getting cold. The scripture tell you, by the end time, the love of many shall wax cold. It's cold out there, man. Uh, I don't want to be out there in the world. I want to be amongst, you know, the men of the Lord, man. Where it's warm, it's comforting, all right? It's a pleasant thing to be amongst. Uh, ain't nobody warring and killing and shooting each other and, and, and tripping. You got it's a power. That's just the power of the Most High, man. The Most High that took men from different hoods, different cities. Hey, I, if I want right now, I can go to California right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be straight. Brothers gonna take you in, man. Okay, bro. All right. When have that ever happened? When have, even in Cali, when have you ever seen Latinos dwelling amongst amongst so-called Negroes, man? But the Lord has made it happen. Look at look up there in New York. Them dudes in them burials and, and Harlem and the Bronx, they don't fuck with each other, man. Them niggas, them niggas in the world don't fuck with each other. From, I'm from Brownville, Bushwick. But what, what brings them together? This truth. All that shit goes supposed to go away, man. You see Jake and the truth with that, 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 that city banging and shit. Street banging. What is y'all the brothers have seen it before? I'm from over here. Hey man, all that shit get erased out in the strip, man. Supposed to be doing that shit. Go ahead. Verse 12 it says, and if one prevail against him, two shall stand with him. And the threefold cord is not quickly broken. Yeah, because you know, you know, I don't want to go to that whole uh, situation that just happened in you, but yeah, man. You don't pull the lead. If a brother comes to your your house, your city, you supposed to you supposed to be with that man. That's right. Some some outside entity, somebody you know, get into them. You supposed to dead that shit, man. You supposed to let it happen, and then boom, when shit happens, everybody looking stupid. You supposed to you supposed to protect a brother, man. A brother come from out of state, that brother that, that's on my shoulders, man. That's on me. That, that's what happens in this thing. It's accountability, man. It's a, it's a it's a thing. Brothers take care of each other, man. It's this is a story with the Benjamite, the man of the traveler. What happened? The man I took it in. He didn't know that dude. But this but that's the Israelite culture of the past, which we are actually learning to uh know now, man. That's why you see that's the, the, the display of love. We didn't we didn't been a what well, I didn't been a, we didn't been around twice. It's a no-brainer when we go up there. I, the brother tell you, the brother Hawaii, your money ain't good out here, man. Go do that with one of these niggas. <laughs> I 
Happens down here in the one. You come down here, your money ain't good down here. First of all, you gonna take you gonna you gonna get it. You gonna have a nice meal. You gonna get a laugh. You gonna you gonna you gonna do you gonna do some shit, man. But that's what this truth. That's what this truth. You get taken care of, man. You, sh you shouldn't be that guy too. In that war is me spirit. I don't wanna bother you. I I ain't got no money. I right? well you well, if you ain't got no money, you you you, you taken care of, man. You straight, you straight man. Stop being that guy that's always like that. That's a that's a demon, man. Yeah. A selfish demon. A pride demon, man. I, man, I wanna come. I wanna I wanna go to the bar with y'all, but brother, hey, brother, just say let like, say you ain't got the money. Y'all can buy me a drink, bro. That shit is no brainer, man. Hey, I come hungry. This is the same. Brother gonna make it. hey, what, what we say out here? If we want that shit, we gonna get that shit, man. We offer anyways. We ain't like in the world. <laughs> Take the that you ain't got no money to get the Burger King and be sitting there eating, waiting on you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, like Jacob, yeah, where the hell? He's eating in your face. No, man, we gonna offer, brother. I'm getting some. Hey, I'm going and you get you want some I go you know, your brother's gonna offer, man. Yeah, man. Jacob, yeah, that's it. Okay, you had that other one. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. He just said, I was gonna go yeah, yeah, go yeah. All right, this is our first Maccabees chapter 12, verse 9. It says, Therefore, we also, albeit we need none of these things, for that we have the holy books of scripture in our hands to comfort us. Yeah, that's for yeah. the comfort, man. Right along with this word, this is the comfort when, when the going gets tough and things happening. All right, changes are happening. All right, you you feel impressed with the with the, the affairs of this life? You go to the scriptures. All right, you get you get pressed with the affairs of this life. Go see counsel from brothers. Go vent. I read that. Then you just go crash out and do some shit. Lose lose your cool. Lose some shit. Get that call. <laughs> You're now getting a call from. <laughs> I'm glad that call though. You know what I'm talking. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Press one. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. I read of that. But, it's just, but this is the this is the place for that, man. And the Lord has the Lord has supplied. And like I said, what's funny, you might have a brother that was the only child, you might have a brother that had two siblings, three siblings, four siblings, whatever. Y'all, some of them one cool, some of them cool, but then you then the Lord just give you Whole plethora of brothers, man. You got brothers all in other, and you good. Like, you got brothers all in other cities and shit, man. You good. I have never seen that happen in all, all my life, man. You can just go somewhere and just be straight. In a whole other city, man. You go through that shit in the world, you're going to get robbed. <laughs> Take <laughs> killed, man. Yeah, I'm going to pull up on you. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Go do that shit in Detroit or some shit, man. Oh. You gonna go back to Nick on the on the day. You gonna be on the ground, butt naked, zip tied, with man. a bag on your goddamn yeah. head, with full of balloon dogs on. Man. <laughs> do that shit. Go do that shit in the world and watch how you get you get you get you get taken advantage of, man. That's what the world doing. The world is eating, devouring each other, man. You know, we don't devour each other in the truth. You know, brothers help each other out. Build each other up. That's right, man. You might have a brother that's his confidence low. He build his confidence up, man. Your brother might be swagless. He's a brother that got swag. He gonna hey, buddy, drink like this. I put this on. Some shit. Yeah, you know. Show him how to, you know, the young brother might know how to fight. You can show him how to fight, man. The young brother might not know how to, you know, deal with women or talk to women to get you you you, you, you do it. it's it's a lot of other variables that come come with this truth, man. Facts. It's a lot of it's many hats. Many, many uniforms you got to put on in this truth, man. Right. You know? You can't, like I said, once again, this is a deadly remedy, man. All right? Um. Yeah, you had that Corinthians. I want to get that Corinthians out of the way. Um, this is uh, the book of 2 Corinthians uh, 1 and 
but for who comfort us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. Read that again. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 1 and 4. Who comfort us? Actually, actually, Bible was shot. I thought at 3. Come. Come. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 1 and 3. Blessed be the Most High, even the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, the Father of mercies, and the power of all comfort. And that's the power of all comfort. That's who, who's able to uh, bestow it. You know? Go ahead. It says, Who comforted us in all our tribulation, <clears throat> that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. Right, that's like this brother say. Miraculously, you might you might be going through shit. The brother, the brother, the Lord will have a brother just call out of nowhere. Sometimes you didn't thought about a brother and the brother call call the phone, man. <laughs> All right. I got that word too for you. Comfort. Keep going. Huh? Let me it, get it. it says, "By the comfort <clears throat> wherewith we ourselves are comforted of the Most High, for as the sufferings of Yahweh Shai Mashiach." <coughs> For as the sufferings of Yahweh Shah Mashiach abound in us, so our consolation also abounded by Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation. Oh man. Really? Which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffered. Or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. Good, man. So it's all coincides together, man. Let me see. I'm trying to see if there's any more. Probably be a seven. Okay, go ahead. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as ye are partakers of the sufferings, so shall ye be also of the consolation. Uh, and that's what I hope so, man. Keeping brothers on the on a, on, a, on, a, on a righteous path, brothers, bear all. You know, you you comfort them with scriptures. You know, even rebuke. Sometimes brothers need rebuke. Sometimes brothers need need this this to be talked to, man. And that's all in hopes that we all receive the salvation. We it's important that we all help each other get on them on them chariots, man. All right. Um, that was it on there, right? Anybody have anything else? I'm about to get uh. Go get this word real fast and I'm gonna go to somebody. I know you hold I know you hold that word. This um that word comforter in um the online etymology, it says one who consoles or support supports in distress or anger. It says a helper, an advisor, a supporter. It says to strengthen much. Yeah. That's what the scriptures do. That's what the that's the, what the brother do. All right, and, and, and it's simply opening your mouth and saying something, man. Sometimes, some guys don't want to open any all the help in the world, and they don't open their mouth. Then you sitting there, you just suffering for nothing, man. You know, open your mouth. In this thing of ours, you you have to say something. You have to be vocal, man. Yeah. All right, because brothers brothers are willing to help. You shouldn't be out here, you know. Sometimes brothers be going through this bullshit, you know, for no reason without saying any goddamn thing, man. You know? Uh, go ahead, somebody. Okay, I think that is uh, real fast. Break it down, too. I'm looking for the love, If your house so loved us, we ought also to love one another. Verse 12. No man have seen your house at any time. If we love one another, your house dwelleth in us. And his love is perfected in us. So yeah, loving your brother, man. You know, you got the spirit of the most high. You know, and said it's perfected in us, man. Cause uh you gonna love your brother because hey, we all going from the same banner, we all plowing the same field. You know, we oh, all doing the work. Hey, you that's spiritual you say that I have a better lesson going into plowing, because when we plowing, we 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 are actually representing as like the ox. Ox plowing mm -hmm. the ground for what? Good ground. Right. What that good ground supposed to be? Good brothers, man. All right, that's what we're doing. That good seed, because them good brothers gonna do what? They are gonna plant good seed, man. And they gonna grow. 
So we kind of represent the ox. The ox is known for what? Hard work, labor. You know? Mm -hmm. Why well, I say muzzle not the ox and shred it out the corn. Right. Yeah, man. Go ahead, Ox. Okay, verse 13. Hereby know that we dwell in him and he in us because that he have given us of his spirit. So yeah, we all have that spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. Loving one another. You know, taking care of brother, uplifting a brother, whatever the case may be. You know, it's all of the uh, will of the most high. And that's all I mean. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, uh, that, that's. I think. I think I might have one more, but that's part of it. This proverbs, cause y'all brother been talking about uh confident and uh, you know, kind of mind that the confidence is, is uh is more or less about time. Everything is in a season, you know. Like brothers, me need help, but. It's about the time when it arrived, just like the Lord. Like it's like we are praying to the Lord for something today, and then the Lord will give it to us in twenty five days. Uh -huh. But it was the time in which we got it, man. But this uh, 20, Proverbs twenty five and eleven it says a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pictures of silver. Cause just like that word, well, we really when you get into the word fitly, this is what I wanted to harp on. It says circumstance. <laughs> Condition timely. So when brothers give brothers words, we had a rough day. It was the time in which the brother gave you the give you the words. Like it it was you know it was premature to you going inside, knowing you know probably you you full of fire, your flames, other things might escalate into this. So it's the timeliness in which we do give each other things, which is is helpful because it keep us from sinning. It causes us to pass over transgressions. All right. It teaches it teaches us how to navigate. All right. And ultimately it teaches us to think on what we actually have as a person, which in uh, in the world we couldn't do that, man. When we was pissed off, we had to go punch holes in the wall and and and, and, and add it to our anger, man. Smoke cigarettes. All right. We just didn't have the answers, man. You know, some Jake's get <laughs> Jay got there talking to homosexual women. What the fuck are you doing, man? You getting advice from different people? Like, nah, man. We getting advice from men who are like-minded. This is uh, because niggas in the world, bro, niggas. In the, I ain't seen niggas in the world. Go to anything. Man, just go commit adultery. Yeah, hey, go commit adultery. I know she married, bitch. I'm just gonna go fuck with her. What, what are you doing? Tripping, trying to get killed, man. Yeah, invite that you know? to yourself. Yeah. Man, we, you know, brother, man. Go ahead. I can this is a season. Yeah. A season in which that's why it's apples of gold and Jeez. pictures of silver, man. Because it's it's, it's perfected in this time. The condition in which it got. You see, it's perfected. Brother, any more or less of what we getting, it's what we getting. Even you even said that. You know, like yeah, it is what we getting. We gotta get this thing, but it's when you get it. When you start to realize I'm talking to you on the phone, and you was like, Man, he bought this out, and it's when I got it, I actually saw it like damn. It's different spices in the garden, but they all good for the garden. Like, you know, it's just different. It's the timing in which we get things, brother, that means the most. Even when it's woke up to the truth, it was the time the Lord woke us up. And that's why we could go back, man, I remember when we got it. It was the condition. Hey. What the condition we was in yeah. when the Lord woke us up. During the time. You had a father. Unemployed. 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 <laughs> Finish. <laughs> Finish. He's at the house. This they bring, out, they bring it out to you at the right time, man. Yeah. And everybody came in at the proper in their proper time too. That's right. You know, I, I got one for in the too. Huh? Yeah, that happened to me. I was on the floor. Yeah, uh, and I, I, most, yeah, that's how most, <laughs> most, <laughs> most, <laughs> most brothers, man. <laughs> took all that shit away. He got your attention. Yeah. He, he got your attention. Right. He got undivided. Yeah. It's a circumstance. Yeah, you got nothing to do. Yeah. brothers. Most brothers that I know, all right, most brothers that I know, they, they found it through the internet. Like, just searching, God. searching the internet for truth, or uh, Bible or whatever. You got some brothers that might, might have passed by camp and seen camp. <clears throat> you know, there's many ways that brothers uh, actually found this thing. But I'm, I'm just happy brothers found it, you know. Y'all brothers got any more? I'm going to end it on this real quick. One. Uh, you had mentioned this earlier. I just wanted to read it. This uh. This St. John 13 and 14, it says, A new commandment I give unto you, 
this is Yahweh speaking to the disciples and says, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. That's it. If you have love to one another, yeah. You were saying earlier, like people people can see, even brothers in the truth, when we go to other camps, we see the way the other camps operate, like man, they, they really the disciples of Yahweh Shai. Look how they, you know, brothers, you, you can see it. You can just see the love of Yahweh Shai on brothers, man. Yeah, and brothers serving one another, man. Brothers being weak. You know, brothers watch how they talk to each other, brothers they talk to shit. You know. And it's full blown uh, love on display, man. Real love. Not that, not that uh, googly feeling the world gets, man. But the keeping of the commandments, all right? You actually see actual love, man. You know, and I, I ain't gonna go there, but you know, we, we had that situation out there in uh, Jackson, and, and birds can get to some money. What they see, brothers had oh, birds seen love on this place, man. All right. That's what, and that's what. A lot of you people out there, you don't, you don't get to see because the Lord ain't dealing with a lot of you, man. Yeah, we, we said it. The Lord ain't dealing with a lot of you, so he's not giving you, that was stored on you, true love. All right? Uh, that was it. I'm about, I, I got this last one right here. This is a small one. You see that one? Bring it out, huh? Don't be scared. It's a uh, Proverbs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Proverbs 27 and 17. It said, iron sharpened the iron. So a man sharpened the confidence of his friend. And that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to rely on each other. You know, like we're going through different situations. You know, like y'all were saying, call brothers, talk to brothers, you know, be iron. You don't want to be plastic or be wood. You, know, you want to be iron. Give brothers different advice yeah. or whatever. And brothers give you advice. You know? And you be honest. You be honest with your brother. You don't give a half ass story to your brother. He only give you a half ass truth. Does that work? That brother brought a, 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 it seems small, but that's a cold scripture. Iron sharp and iron. The world don't sharpen each other, man. I like you, man. That little dumb ass dap and hug they give each other. And then three days later, that nigga killed the nigga, man. Uh, hit his old lady. Hit his old lady. That's killing him. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's really killing him. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? That dumb ass dap they do? Bump each other's chest. And then, like, and then, and then he had the nigga feeling crying over there, man. No, he the one killed him. Say, moms, we gonna get the nigga. Yeah, you the nigga. <laughs> you, know, you know, you know. And this thing, iron sharpening and brothers build each other up, man. Whether it's on a personal note, a spiritual note, brothers getting built, man. And like I said some brothers, some things with brothers that take time, but shit. What you about? You know something? Yeah, only I can actually show up in I when they go up. So only a friend can show up in the front. Yeah. And that's why he used the comparison of iron. Yeah. Only iron can go against iron to get it sharp, Bob. Nothing else. You can't use nothing else. You it can't put destroy. plastic on it. It'll destroy it. It'll just destroy it. But it can, it can, you know, it, it can mesh together. And only a friend can what? Show up in the front of them. They can only mesh. It's going to take a friend to mesh with a friend. You see? And that's why that comparison is there. When you think of Right. Yeah, I'm gonna end off with this one right here. This is Sirach 9, and I'm gonna start about uh, 14. It's as near as thou canest guess at thy neighbor and consult with the wise. All right, which we went into earlier. All right, your, the wise and your neighbor is the, the men that's supposed to be in the truth with you, man. It says, Let thou talk be with the wise. Let me say it again. Let thy talk be with the wise, and all thy communication in the law of the of the Most High. All right. And then you go on a little minute. That sixteen says, "And let the just man eat and drink with thee." And the niggas supposed to be drinking and eating with us, man. You know, some, you, know you know, your boy, this nigga, the snuck in chicken thief. Chicken thief, nigga, he's fucking snuck in and got two pieces of chicken. You know, that's the whole world. He, he ain't getting chicken sense. <laughs> First and last. First and last, man. He <laughs> stuck in there, man. But he said, let the just man eat and drink with thee, and let the glory be in the in the fear of the Lord, man. And that's what we do. We converse with, with, with just, righteous, and wise men, man. We don't communicate with these people. What can a nigga tell you? What's some what's some wild, some wild, adulterous, abomination, abominant shit, man? <laughs> you have a, hey, y'all brothers. Hey man, we you know, brother, we talking about something, something 
the friends and people we didn't come out, especially down here, these some wicked ass niggas, man. You can't convert with them dudes. Yeah, I think what the dude, dude got he got money. What you said? Like niggas trying to rob something, man. I don't know if y'all seen it. It was a uh it was a text message for somebody got the uh Income tax. Oh, they tax. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw it. I saw it. You text the wrong place. And they're like, what is that? No. <laughs> you know? No. I mean, my baby daddy is that. You know, that's that's the world. You only you can't communicate. You know, we communicate on many things, man. It, it, that's who it has to be with. It can't be with outsiders. This is not for outsiders, man. You know, this thing has to be given to you from on high. And once it's given to you, you have to come to the realization: this is the truth. These are the men of the Lord. That this, those are the apostles, man. Yeah, some guys still wrestling with that. After all these years, you still wrestling. But that's rather that's the apostles. Now it's evident that those are the men of the Lord, man. Super obvious. Evident. It's evident that the minute you see these these men that you see on these highways and byways making these videos, going out there to camp in the rain, sleet, that's snow, the that's those men, man. You shouldn't have to wrestle with that. You shouldn't have to wrestle. With the transitioning from the world to wanting to be in the body, man, that's a whole other that's a whole other lesson in itself. All right. Okay. But with that, man, we hope that was edifying to the point. Until next time, with all glory, infinite honors to your house. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. Honor to the elders, apostles of GMS, Great Millstone. Peace and blessings, salutations to the whole elect. Until next time, I can shalom. Shalom. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Oh, my God. 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 Oh